Good evening, everybody. It is November 4th. Uh, I'm sorry, November 5th, Thursday. I am out the farm, as you can tell. Uh, I'm going to be going through my stuff here. I got to make sure I have everything ready to go for my hunt tomorrow morning. I took tomorrow off work. Uh, the rut is on from what everything I'm being told. So I want to make darn sure that I get a hunt in as much as humanly possible. If I don't get one tomorrow, I plan on hunting all weekend. Uh, with the exception of Sunday. Uh, but stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a time lapse as I get my gear together. I will see you guys in the morning. So wish me luck. I have to film today entirely with my cell phone. I forgot to put an SD card in here. It's Friday, November 6th. We heard a deer blow down over the hill. I don't think it was anything. It sounded more like sneezing than anything. Anyway. Hopefully the deer will come in relatively early. I am gonna try to rattle and grunt. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. We just now ended the shooting light. So anything could happen. Just saw a buck across the way here. I'm gonna try to rattle. Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for me. I don't know. Only saw the one deer way over there. So I don't know. I gotta go home. Uh and uh sign for that ammunition when it's delivered. I do have a couple things I need to do here. I'm gonna get ready for this weekend. I think my brother's going to hunt out here as well with me. Um, and uh, I want to freshen up my mock scrape and stuff like that. So I'll bring you guys along, but uh, this is going to do it for my morning hunt. <sighs> Guess I'll see you a little bit later. was delivered around 2 30 so I uh, was able to hop in the truck and get out here and get it set up for a for an evening hunt I'm hunting in the stand that you guys saw me put the uh, tree skirting on in the last video deer have been in and out of here they haven't been terribly consistent but I haven't hunted this spot yet this year and uh with the leaves off the tree, I can see quite a ways up that way. <clears throat> Either way, got my lucky hat on tonight. USA, baby. Fingers crossed. 
Hopefully it goes a little bit better than it did this morning. We'll see. rest of the weekend next, next weekend starts gun season so hopefully my luck changes at some point who knows see a deer a heck of a lot closer than 238 yards this morning. Alright, let's settle in and see what we see. I swear, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Did a rattling sequence across the field or across the valley. See a deer hauling butt the other direction. It seemed a little strange until about a minute later right down the hill from me right where that deer was running from. Big old coyote. I didn't... I, it's been a rough rough season guys I'm gonna sit for a couple more hours but if I don't see anything I'm blaming the coyote <sighs> this year I hate 2020 So a total of seven deer. Uh, the closest one was 155 yards away. Um, it looked like it might come up here, but it never happened. <sighs> Better morning, but still trying not to get frustrated, but it's hard. <sighs> Either way, I'll be after it again this afternoon. We'll see what happens then. Uh, 
All right, everybody, good afternoon. It is 3.30 in the afternoon on November 7th. I just got done splitting a couple loads of wood with my dad. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is hot. Um, back here hunting in the same stand I was in last night. Um, caught a new deer on trail camera that I wanted to come in and hear after. He was here twice last night. Uh, one at about one o'clock in the morning, another time right at about eight o'clock this morning. So uh, it's a good looking deer. So stick with me, we'll see how this goes. It's really warm right now though, I will say that. Pretty sure I just blew it, guys. Biggest deer I've ever friggin' seen. Forty yards. And I think I blew it. Forty yards. I blew it. I'm so upset with myself, you have no idea. Well, y'all, it's been two days uh, since the shot. It's Monday morning. Uh, I'd like to tell you I'm feeling better about it, but I'm not. Um, overall, though, um, I do feel like I searched as much as I could. Uh, I did a about a 100-yard semicircle from where he crossed the property lines onto the neighbor's property. Um, I am allowed to track deer there. I'm not allowed to hunt there, but I can track a deer there if it runs. But uh, I never found another drop. Um that being said, uh, about a half a mile away, a friend of mine has a trail camera, and that night he caught that deer on camera, uh, a half a mile away. Uh, so that leads me to believe that deer is probably fine. Uh, he said he doesn't exactly recall where the shot was, but it did look to be high and forward. Um, 
So more than likely it's in what we call no man's land on the deer and that deer is fine. Um, they're very resilient. Uh, I don't like it, but it's, it's a part of hunting. Now, I struggled with whether or not to show you guys this, uh, because quite frankly, I am not proud of it. It's the second time this year that this has happened on my channel. And I was feeling really down about myself and I really hesitated as to whether or not to show you this, but I feel like it is important that you guys see this. I could give up hunting because of this, but I'm not going to do that because this is a part of it. It's not a fun part, but it happens. It's all in how you react. I could give up hunting, but that's not going to accomplish anything. Instead, I'm going to double down. I'm going to practice more with the crossbow and my bow and my rifle than I ever have. And I'm going to make darn sure this does not happen again. Unfortunately, sometimes it's things that don't go right that teach us the most. And this is one of those situations. So that being said, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Things are going to get better.